Hi, Orange Girl here with another scrapbooking process video for you. I am working with a file from the cut shop today. The file that I am using is called Pretty as a Peacock, and it's a great big cut file, and I love it. I love it, love it. I usually shy away from these because um, they intimidate me, but I challenged myself to use this, and I am totally digging how this one turned out. So what I did is I went ahead and cut the cut file. And then um, it also cuts out all of these little inside pieces that, of course, were white. Um, and I didn't want that. So I went back into the file and I did a release compound path. And when you do that, it makes all of those little pieces separate. So then you can move them. So I moved them all. You can see all of them there. And I moved all of them so they would fit on two different six by six pieces of paper. So the blue is actually a pattern paper that's a 12 by 12 that I cut down to six by six. And um, the other is from the six by six paper pad. And I so I cut, essentially I cut them all twice so that I could decide where I wanted to place them on the page. And I just kind of even them out throughout the page. So that was kind of, I wanted a little bit more color than just two. <clears throat> just the the kind of coral and the blue so I added that other paper in there that is kind of has some green in it and another color of blue and so once I got those placed I just went ahead and glued them all down um, the papers that I'm using is from the papers that I'm using are from um, sunshine and good times it's an Amy Tangerine collection that was probably from last summer I'm thinking and um, I, it actually has peacocks in the collection, which is why I went to that collection to kind of see if there were <clears throat> colors and papers that I would like to use. And boy, did I find some. You'll see here in a moment. <clears throat> I found some paper that has peacocks on it. And I actually had used it for another layout or parts of it for another layout. And I went ahead and I cut out that peacock using that paper, um, and I used that paper as his body. So then that added some more green to it, which I really like how that looks. So now I'm just trying to figure out how to glue it down. <laughs> what I would like to do, the reason I haven't glued down the white piece of paper yet is because I would really like to, the white cardstock, I would like to pop that up off the page which I'm going to do here in just a second. So what I'm using here is I'm just using some craft foam that you can get like at Michael's or whatever, and I'm cutting it up. One side has adhesive on the on it, and I just peel off the peel the backing and stick it down, and that works just perfectly. And then I'll go ahead and take my liquid glue and use that to adhere it to the orange or coral page. So I sped this up so you wouldn't have to watch um, every little bit, but just to kind of give you an idea of when I'm doing a big cut file like this, oftentimes um, I will, you'll see me flip this over and I'm going to kind of put my hands over the top of it and feel and kind of press down and see if there's any spots that's missing adhesive that would kind of cave into um, the orange page. That's what I'm doing here. And then I find a couple spots. So I flip it back over and add some more adhesive. And I think I do that a couple times. And then, <clears throat> then I just go ahead and add my glue to it here in a little bit. Not yet. I think I start to work on my title. So I end up changing. I kind of went back and forth between two different fonts and I don't end up using this one but I do go with the title unique because I'm not really okay so the other thing that I did is I'm fussy cutting and I do most of this off camera a whole bunch of butterflies and you can see those over there on the right so what I did off camera is I fussy cut a whole bunch of butterflies out of butterfly paper that's in the actual um, collection and then I um, I put, oftentimes just to add some dimension, is I use that same craft foam and I cut it up really small and I put it behind the wings of the butterfly. And then what I glue down is I glue down the center of the butterfly and then it kind of looks like the wings are sticking up or the wings are sticking up. So you can kind of see 
how that adds some dimension. So now I've switched the font of the title. My title is unique. I am not writing any journaling on this. To be honest, I have another photograph from the same night that I will probably tell more of the story of this day. But it is funny that um, when we are going to go or do anything fancy or go somewhere fancy, B really thinks that it's important for her to wear a tie. <clears throat> and I don't know really where it all came from. But she's pretty consistent on that. And so she just got this orange tie. It was one of her requests um, for Christmas. And she got it from Santa Claus. And so she's got this bright blue shirt on. Then um, this orange tie. And she's sitting. We're at a concert. So she's sitting there and looking beautiful. And so I took her picture. So this the whole idea here is just unique. And so all I do for journaling is I add a few um, Tim Holtz phrase stickers um, after a little bit. So now that I have that down and I have placed some of the butterflies, I decided that I should probably put some layers behind my photo. So I added some tissue paper and now I'm going through the six by six pad because I knew that there was an orange <clears throat> paper in there that's kind of that same um, color. It's kind of a coral orange. And so, and then this one has actual peacocks on it. So I ripped that off and then I put it behind and now I realize that the peacocks are upside down and although you don't ever really see the peacocks and it wouldn't have made a difference, um, it made a difference to me and so I end up going back to that six by, pad, six by six pad and changing it out for one where the peacocks will go the correct um, way and <clears throat> it's funny because um, like you don't see it but it was a little happy little accident because it had that green at the top like a branding strip at the top, and um, I liked that little pop of green up there in the corner. So then I'm going to add a little bit more of this blue, and then that's kind of going to be it for my layers. Let's see what's coming next. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so now, sorry I have a little tickle in my throat. You know I'm getting close to the end because I usually end up adding thread towards the end of my layout. Um, so I start with a little of this orange kind of coral color. And I, at first I was thinking I might just use that. And I put some up here and I'll kind of give you an idea. This kind of gives you an idea of why I use thread here. I put it up there and I like it and it's fine. It adds the texture that I like, but I decided that I really wanted to change that out for some green um, because the title is up there and it's green. And there is a little um, butterfly up there, but I thought it just needed a little bit more of a pop of green up in that corner. And so I grabbed my green and then I'll stick that there. And then it is um, ready to go. I mean, like, I feel like that just finishes it off. It makes it like look like it. I don't know. It just for me, it's just a final touch. And so um, now I'm adding this blue and this is the wrong blue. So I put it down and I'm like, nah, that's too bright. For everything else, it's kind of a soft layout. I mean, even though the colors are, they're bright, but they're also a little muted at the same time, which I know doesn't really make sense, but they're not exactly pastel, but they're not like super primary color bright either. So, um, so I added a little bit of blue there. And then I'm going to add some more butterflies. So I kind of did a little cluster down in the bottom right corner and a little cluster in the upper left corner. And now I'm adding some butterflies that kind of join them together. One on the photo and then a few on top of the peacock, at, like they're flying up off the page. So now I'm ready to kind of start gluing stuff down. Um, so usually I use my tiny attacher to staple the layers behind my photo. And the reason that I do that is just because well, it's kind of two things. One, I could move those layers a little bit if I need to or add things in between them. If I use adhesive, then I can't always unglue them. And so um, that is something if I change my mind and want to add some more layers, I can do that. Another reason is it saves a little bit of adhesive if you really want to know the truth. <laughs> it um, By stapling it, I don't have to use a bunch of adhesive on it. So 
Now I'm just going ahead and gluing down all of the butterflies. And like I said, I usually glue kind of in the center and then maybe a little bit of glue on the, um, the parts that I put the foam on. So I decided it needed a little something else. So I ripped um, this area and I'm putting a little bit of that same blue behind it. And then I'm going to rip a little bit of the white up here in the corner. And I did struggle a little bit with it because like right here, because I do have that foam underneath there. And so it was like kind of hard to get it ripped off, but it worked out. I did have um, some enamel dots set out that I was going to use and I forgot to add them, but I think it looks fine without it. So it worked out. So these are Tim Holtz phrase stickers. I add phrases like use your wings, be your beautiful self, do more than exist, and creativity takes courage. And then there's the final product. Here are some close-ups and you can see, look at that cut file. I like the way when you use the adhesive or the foam behind it that it gives it some extra dimension. And there you go. Thanks a lot for stopping by and I will see you in my next video.